Thank you guys. Appreciate uh, everybody being here. Uh, obviously very excited to announce our 2016 class today. Uh, really excited about the group as a whole. Uh, you know, we got two relatively local kids uh, out of Spokane uh, who, who we've been on for a long, long time. Really excited to have Alex and, and Morgan joining our program. And then obviously uh, we, we've been doing an excellent job in the California area uh, to be able to attract five very talented players out of that uh, very hotbed of uh, soccer and, and uh, create you know a gr good environment there that these players have been able to uh, train in. So uh, we're excited to have this group of seven players and uh, what they're going to add to our roster uh, as we move forward into 2016. So uh, I'll open up for you guys uh, to ask some questions and we can talk about each individual player a little bit if you like. You talked about just the importance of uh, recruiting locally, what you did there. Absolutely. I mean, we want to recruit as much as possible out of the Spokane, Boise, you know, Seattle, this Northwest area as much as possible. And to have uh, these two players come from the Spokane Shadow Soccer Club has been excellent for us. Uh, I've known Morgan Crosby since she was in eighth grade. Uh, she's a, a very feisty, uh, competitive, passionate player that I think will add uh, you know, that mental toughness and overall ability to play on both sides of the ball. So we're excited about Morgan joining us as a midfielder. She can score goals as well as, as defend and uh, has a tremendous endurance about herself. And I'm really excited about her coming from the University High area out of Spokane. And then Alex Chambers, uh, you know, is, is a great forward. We knew with Reagan Quigley graduating for us uh, as our lone senior from this uh, past year's team that, uh, you know, she'll do, you know, an excellent job stepping in and filling that role uh, that Reagan's going to leave. Alex is a very good goal scorer. Has had a lot of experience playing in big time games. She scored the two, the game tying and the game winning goal for her team in the state championships last year uh, for uh, Spokane Soccer Club and did an excellent job. A very good goal scorer out of Mead High School as well, out of Spokane. So excited about those two players and, and what they uh, will, you know, their fan base. And, and I know our, our group of fans will get behind them a lot, being you know relatively local players. How much did your connection with uh, Gonzaga have to do with getting those two kids? Morgan, for sure. Uh, like I said, uh, it, when I was an assistant coach at Gonzaga, uh, you know I watched Morgan since she was in eighth grade, and so I've known about her uh, for a very, very long time. So it, you know, it, she was one of the very first players I went after when I got the job here two years ago and was excited to be able to keep her close to home. She has very, very close to her family. Uh, you know, just an excellent, uh, you know, young woman, and, and she's gonna do an excellent job for us on the field. So th those ties for sure. As far as Alex is concerned, I mean, I knew about her, but we really started recruiting her heavily when I got here to Idaho. And uh, know their club coach very well, Kevin Moon, who runs the Spokane Shadow Soccer Club there and uh, is an excellent coach, does a great job teaching the proper technical skills and things about the game. And so uh, my relationship with him that I built with while I was at Gonzaga definitely helped uh, cultivate the relationships with uh, Mo and Alex and getting them to uh, be vandals. So. What were you hearing on the trail from like club coaches and high school coaches you know, regarding your success from the season? I think everybody's really excited about it. You know, having it, to have and, and set some of the records that we did this past uh, season in regards to uh, Vandal soccer, who was fan, you know, was great. And you know, a lot of people are very excited about the future of our program. And you know, we're doing everything we can uh, to continue to capitalize on that momentum and to continue carrying you know, that excitement about our program forward as we go into 2016. And it's definitely helped on the recruiting side of things uh, to be able to go out and get those top players that we feel like are gonna continue to propel us forward in the years to come. Do you feel like there's any difficulty kind of competing with schools like Washington, Washington State, and Gonzaga for those prospects in the Spokane area? Sure, I, I think there is. Uh, but the exciting thing for us is uh, now we have a championship under our belt. You know, and it, it's uh, exciting for our players and the recruits that we're attracting now to our program that they get to see that trophy and they get to hear about our players uh, challenging for a conference championship. And uh, yeah, we may not play. You know, when you talk about relatively speaking, when it comes to the level of soccer, Pac-12 is very good. WCC is very good. Uh, you're definitely going to test yourself in those leagues. But for us, the Big Sky is is excellent, 
and I thought the soccer was very good this year in the Big Sky. And for us to come out on top and be completely undefeated in the regular season, uh, it excites a lot of people, and, and rightfully so, because we feel that we're in a great position to go to the NCAA tournament year in and year out. Uh, we're penalty kick shootout away from accomplishing that goal this year. Uh, you know, it was a little bit disappointing, but at the same time, to know that we're right there on the verge uh, is exciting for recruits, ex exciting for young players to come and be a part of our program uh, because they know that, you know, that's where they ultimately want to be. They want to be playing in the NCAA tournament. And, uh, you know, that gives us a great opportunity when we go in to compete with those other schools in the Northwest as, you know, for those recruits and trying to get the top talent. Now, considering last season, it was pretty much like the young team really stepped up, and you expect much of the same this year, especially now that you can see out of the seven, five of them are from California. What is kind of like your process of getting those girls from California? Well, first for uh, uh, my assistant coach, Josh Davis, is, is from California. He's got a lot of recruiting ties to that area. He does an excellent job identifying uh, quality talent uh, that is there and have the opportunity to – uh, you know, come up and they're looking to leave the state of California. Uh, there's a tremendous amount of talent that's coming out of the Southern California area. And so for us to go in there and talk about the things that we're doing here at Idaho, it excites a lot of people. And so for, you know, we try to go in there and find the players that might slip through the cracks or might be a little bit unnoticed, and they've been able to come up here and be fantastic. Uh, we, we saw that with our group of players this year. Uh, you know, in, in the likes of Amanda Portner as our goalkeeper of the year, Kelly Dobke is you know our top defender, uh, one of our top defenders on the roster. I think you know those players are proving that they can come in here and make an impact right away. We fully expect that same uh, opportunity for the five kids from California uh, in, in this class. You know, so we want to continue recruiting that area as much as we possibly can. Uh, you know, the exciting thing is about 2016, we return our entire starting lineup. You know, we, it, which is awesome but we know we have nine seniors that are gonna be on the roster next year, and we needed to prepare now for their departure in, in nine months. And so we expect these uh, young players to come in and challenge for playing time right away. And uh, you know, if they're able to earn themselves for playing time, great. But if they have to kind of learn under a great group of seniors uh, and upperclassmen, then that's even better. And it's gonna bode well for the future of our program moving forward. So I know you kind of champion defense, and that defense creates scoring opportunities on offense. Uh, you guys signed three defenders. Can you tell me a little bit more about what you think their roles are going to be uh, next year? Absolutely. Uh, first, uh, Crosby McKinnon, uh, we call her Mac. Uh, she's a very good, talented outside back. Uh, saw her a little over a year ago playing in Las Vegas at a tournament. Uh, a kid that can fly from box to box. She can defend, but she can also attack. And so we're very excited about her. Uh, you know, she's a player that's going to come in and compete with the likes of Maddie Moore, Claire Johnson, Josie Daggs as an outside back and do a very good job for us. And so uh, she's a talented individual that uh, we're looking forward to having here. Next would be Taylor Brust, comes from a tr one of the top club teams in the country in San Diego Surf. Uh, she plays at the highest level. We see her ultimately fitting in as a center back. Uh, so with us having Amanda Peace as a senior and then Kelly Dopke as a sophomore, we fully expect Taylor to come in and compete. And, and you know, if she gets some playing time, great, but we know that she's gonna be able to s compete and slide into that position once Amanda Peace graduates. Um, and, and then the next would be Becca Barato. The exciting thing about Becca, Becca's a vandal. Uh, her grandfather played football here uh, in the 60s. Uh, she's, you know, very strong ties here to the Northwest and, and obviously a vandal family. We expect she has the ability to add some depth at the center back role. Uh, as well as possibly play um, as a holding midfielder for us. She's very good in the air, 5'10", good athlete. Uh, so there's a lot of potential for her to bloom into a quality player. All right, anybody else have any other questions? Perfect. Well, thank you guys very much. I appreciate you guys being here and, uh, you know, looking forward to 2016. Go Vandals. Thanks, Coach. All right.